Hello everybody, and welcome to my second One Piece tier list video. Last time we did the arcs, and this time we're going to be doing the Devil Fruits. So, we've got the categories here, S through F. We've got an I Don't Know tier, which hopefully not very many will be going in there. And then we have Top 5, which is where it's sort of like an S+, plus, and I'm going to be putting what I think are the Top 5 Best Devil Fruits in One Piece up here. So Devil Fruits are the first and primary power system in One Piece, and it's it's my preferred power system over hockey. I think hockey's kind of made some of the fights a little boring, in my opinion. So here they all are. There's a lot of them. This video might be pretty long. The It's an alphabetical order, too, so let's just jump into it. First off, we've got Absalom. Absalom has the invisible fruit, and I think it's a very capable devil fruit. I think it's very good. And Absalom is a very shitty user, but Ab uh, Shiryu gets it from Absalom, and Shiryu is a much more dangerous opponent, and I think that that Devil Fruit's going to serve him very well. Um, I, I think that, uh, especially against lesser opponents, it's almost an instant win. Like, how are you supposed to be able to, like, sense where they are without observation hockey? So I think all those factors considered, we're going to start off with a strong A tier. It's, it's just so useful, right? Um, so next we've got Alveda. And Alveda's fruit is garbage. It is the slip slip fruit. And despite it being a fast track to losing weight, your subordinates need to bring a slide into battle for you to be able to fight. So it's going right here. It's going right here instantly in the F tier. Uh, next we have Baby Five. And I always thought Baby Five was kind of sad because it, it's implied that her parents didn't want to name her, didn't care enough about her to name her, so it was just Baby One through Five. Could be wrong about that. Baby, fr ah, baby Five has the Arms Arms Fruit, which allows you to transform your body into different weapons and tools. And I think it's a good Devil Fruit. I mean, it's definitely not amazing. It's definitely not like some sort of, you know... Uh, masterful ability that's going to give you god powers or anything, but I think it's good. It's good against um, lesser opponents as well, so I'm, I'm thinking B for this one. As we go on, I might I might do one of these, but I think, I think B is a good spot for Baby 5 for now. Okay, so uh, Kuma's Paw Paw Fruit. Uh, we learned recently that it is actually the ability to turn uh, intangible things into tangible things and i may be jumping the gun here with this one but i i just think it's it's one of the best abilities in the series it's it's so broken you can teleport you can repel pain it's like a healing thing too it, it's just like the ultimate swiss army knife of abilities so I, i'm gonna put it here for now that might change but it's it's amazing it's just there there's no um like downsides to it there's hardly any limits to it so Top five, in in my opinion. Uh, Barto's Barrier. It blocked the King Punch, which is a very good feat, I think. Uh, even though, I mean, like, is it really, though? So, as an absolute defense ability, it's kind of like a one-note ability. But it is able to probably block some pretty devastating attacks. So, I'm just going to put it in the B tier. I think it's not bad. Now, Hawkins has a very complicated double fruit with the, you know, voodoo dolls and the divination and stuff. But I think the fact that it 100% predicts the future, or at least, like, eh, it gives you, like, percentages uh, of uh, outcomes and stuff, I think that's really good. I think that, um, I think that it, I'm trying to think how to say this, I think that its practicality probably outweighs its offensive ability. You can become the big straw monster, but that's not that great. I mean, we saw how that went in Wano. But the divination and the uh, fortune telling side of it, I'm going to I'm going to put it in A tier because that's just it's too useful to ignore. So Bellamy's got the spring fruit and I think this one's pretty bad. Is it in F tier or is it in D tier because it's going to be in D tier because you can actually move on your own and fight and you don't need a slide. So I'm gonna say D tier, but I think its offensive capabilities are pretty, pretty low. I don't I don't think any, any high tiers would have any trouble dealing with a fruit like this. So I'm 
going to keep it in D tier. Okay, so here's going to be a controversial opinion, and I might be biased because I was thinking about this some other time, but in terms of amount of time on the screen versus how much I like them, I think Bello Betty has the highest ratio of that for me. She's been shown twice, I think, total, and she is an amazing character to me. And uh, her devil fruit is just like kind of like a buff. It buffs the... Um, it buffs the people around her that uh, she wants to enhance their abilities. And she was able to turn regular villagers into a force strong enough to overthrow a band of pirates, the Peachbeard Pirates. So this could be controversial. I think that especially if you have a good group of people around you, it is ridiculously powerful. And I'm going to be putting it up here in the S tier, our first S tier ranking. Next, we have uh, Bon Clay Bentham's uh, Disguise Fruit, and it allows you to change into the appearance of anyone that you have touched. So I think it's a good fruit. I think it's very good for espionage, as we saw in Alabasta. However, there is a fruit on this list that is considered the direct upgrade of it, so I can't put it too high. I think... I'm going to go with B tier because it is I, against people that don't know what's going on. It's it's pretty dang good, you know, to be able to really rock someone's whole world with becoming someone they love love or something like that, you know. Um, I mean, just some shitty bug zone, right? That's fine. Blue Nose Door Fruit is, I would say, pretty underrated. I mean, Blue Nose is... He's a strong combatant, but he's not necessarily like a high tier. And I think the ability of a pocket dimension is very uh, underrated, potentially. I think that it has a lot of utility. Maybe not so much a uh, combat-focused fruit, but I think in terms of the, the pocket dimension thing, uh, I'm going to have to give it a B tier because it would just be so insane to be able to store stuff or, you know, hide people. Like if... If someone's on the run and you need to hide them, no one's ever going to find them because they're in the dimension. Okay, so here's a really controversial opinion. Maybe the, the most controversial of the whole list. Boa's fruit is really bad. It's really, really bad because it is a one in a million that someone who looks like Boa would get that fruit. Well, a lot of the girls in One Piece, a lot of the ladies do look the same. You know, they have that same sort of uh, potentially desirable figure. Uh, so maybe not so much as one in a million, but, you know, imagine if Blackbeard got it. Imagine if Gecko Moria got it. It it really is kind of like so dependent on who gets it, whether it's good or bad. If you someone like Boa gets it, of course it's going to be overpowered, but, you know, Capone Gang Beg gets it. I mean, come on now, right? So... I'm going to put it in the C tier. It really is just a coin flip. It's such a coin flip. Uh, the sisters, the Boa sisters, they have snake Zoans. I mean, it's nothing out of the out of this world, right? Um, nothing too crazy, but, you know, Zoan, I mean, that'll give you some power. That'll give you some just, like, default strength power, you know? So I'm, I'm going to put them in the... C tier, I guess. Well, you know, maybe this too, but we'll we'll put it with Boa. Put him with Boa. The Pika Pika no Mi, the light, the glint glint fruit, I think is, as we all know, one of the best devil fruits in the series. I'm going to be controversial, and I'm going to say I don't think it's necessarily top five. I think the fact that, I think Grand Line Review mentioned this, I think the fact that, uh, he can only move in one direction is a noticeable uh, hindrance, you know, noticeable uh, weakness of the fruit. And I think that, I just think that some of the other Logias might be better. I could be wrong. It's, it's obviously S tier uh, above Bello Betty, obviously. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to rank some of these in, in between the categories real quick. I think like, like that and like, yeah, that's fine. So, Kizaru, obvious S tier. He could be moved up to here, but I, I need to do more of the ranking first. I think that Kuma is going to stay where he's at. I think that that ability is 
the potential is almost limitless with the pop off fruit. Brooke has the revive fruit, and it's such a tricky one, right? Because it's it's good. Brooke is alive because of it, but you have to find your body, and that is really all it does. It just kind of gives you another lease on life. It's not, it, it, you know, no offensive capabilities. I mean, is the humming swordsman stuff part of his fruit? I can't remember if that ever gets explained. I don't know. Just for the fact that you get to live again, I'm going to give it a B tier, and I'm probably going to put it, like, like here. That, that, that seems like a good spot for it. <laughs> Buffalo's got the helicopter fruit in this one. I always think to myself, like, this would be so terrifying if this was not in one piece. If you, had, if you saw someone with this ability in real life, I would, I would be very scared. It's not very good. I mean, it gives you flight, but other than that, you it, no offensive capabilities, really. So the flight is good, though, so I'm just going to put it in D. I, I, I don't know why I'm not feeling C, but we're going to put it in D tier. Okay, controversial time. Buggy has the Chop Chop Fruit, and I think the Chop Chop Fruit is really good. You, you give the Chop Chop Fruit to someone who's capable, they're going to be able to you know, put body parts in different places. They're going to be able to much more strategically manipulate their body and their, um, you know, their positioning of each of their parts. And imagine if you can awaken it. You know what I mean? It, w it would be like Law's room with no range, with like no range limit, which would be, it just seems like so broken to me. So I'm actually going to put the Chop Chop Fruit in B tier. And I think I'm going to put it in high B tier. Honestly, I think I'm going to put it at the top of B tier because it's underrated. I mean, buggy is just so goofy that you don't really think about it, but this fruit, I mean, it's really good in my opinion. So we've got the Tanuki teapot and it was a teapot that ate the Tanuki fruit. So, I mean, it's a Zoan, but it's like a cute little Zoan. So I, I don't really think it has any offensive capabilities, even if someone good ate it, I'm going to have to put it in the F tier as cute as it is with it's like big ball sack or whatever. Put that there. So Caesar has the gas fruit. And this is another one where it's it's such like a jack of all trades. You can do so many things with it. The oxygen removal. You can manipulate. I mean, ga it's solid liquid gas. There's a million different gases. And you can manipulate all of them. I think it makes it a candidate for an easy S tier above Bello Betty and below Kizaru. I think that Kizaru is much more offensively capable. And that's why I'm giving it the nod over Caesar's. We've got, we've got Bedge. Now, if I was ranking my favorite Devil Fruits, Bedge's would be really high. I think the whole castle thing is really cool. And especially in Saba Odi, when you first see it, it's just, you're, you're just like, what is this, right? I think it's a really cool Devil Fruit. I think that it's not, you know, Big Father is really powerful and stuff, but it's not that good. It's not, like, amazing. I'm going to put it in the B tier. But where in the B tier? I might need to reorganize these already, honestly. Probably like that. It's got more offense than any of these, for sure. Yeah. We're going to put it there. Now, Caribou, Carabao, he's got the Swamp Logia. It's a Logia, right? So, default basis, it's pretty dang good. And it's a gross element, but... It's not, I mean, it's not that bad. It's just, it's just dirt and water. I mean, that's like not that bad, right? As long as you're like, okay with nature kind of thing. But Carabao is just so disgusting that it makes it disgusting. I'm going to put it in A tier. I mean, he's a bad user, right? But if you give this to a Kainu, like he's going to work with it. It's not going to be as good, but he's going to work with it. I'm going to put it, it's either, it's either here or here. It's one of these two. I'm going to put it. The real question is, how good is the invisible fruit because of observation hockey? But I'm going to keep it where it is. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it above Hawkins. <sighs> okay, here we go. So Katarina Davon has the nine-tailed fox. And I think that this fruit, we've yet to really see its full potential. But I think the fact that uh, she was able to just transform into Absalom clothes and all and all that. And it also seems like it's going to have offensive capabilities as well. It's just such a... Such like a, what's the word? Like a Swiss Army knife type devil fruit, probably. So it's a mythical Zoan. So 
That's really good. I'm going to put it above Bello Betty and below Caesar. I think that's a good spot for it. And we, we've yet to really see it. I mean, it could easily go here, right? We, we just don't know. So we're going to put it there. Uh, Brulee with the Mirror World. Oh, my webcam is messing up. One sec, guys. Okay. So Brulee with the Mirror World is a really good ability. Uh, same as uh, Bluno with the Pocket Dimension with a much larger area and you're able to trap people in it. And it's, it's kind of like maybe a niche ability a little bit, but I think it is very strong. It's definitely going to go above blue. No. Um, is it a tier? I mean, it's good. It, it trapped, you know, trapped Luffy trapped the gang, you know, it's, it's, it's powerful, right? Is it above buggies? I think buggies is so underrated. You guys, it's hard for me to put this above buggies. I'm going to put it here. I think it's really good, but chop, chop power. Crackers got the one where you can create the army out of graham crackers, and it's good. I mean, it's really good, right? Against anyone that's not like a high tier, it is gonna it's gonna wreck house because you can just create so many warriors. That being said, if you go up against someone with a logia, or you go up against someone who is like very uh, seasoned in combat, I think that it falls apart. I mean, Luffy was able to eat it, which is a very unconventional way of winning, but. It's still really strong. It's hard for me not to put it in the A tier. For it's just it's just sheer base uh, power level. Yeah, I'm just going to put it at the bottom of A tier. That's subject to change. I hate this guy so much, the genie guy. His ability is so crap. I mean, maybe it's good. Maybe it has like potential that we didn't get to see. But he is just so shit. And I, I, I didn't really see anything from the devil fruit that blew me away i'm gonna put it in c tier like right there because it's surely it has some potential to be really good but i can't like envision what that potential is and i also can't i can't see a stronger user using it better than this freaking guy did so it's gonna be c tier i for the life of me cannot remember what hers is it's going to go here because I can't remember. I'm sorry, guys. There's not going to be very many of those, but I cannot remember what it does. So I'm going to put it there. <sighs> okay. Another controversial one here is Katakuri. Now, I said in my last video, and this is the truth, that Katakuri is my favorite One Piece character. And I think that his ability, the special paramecia of the mochi fruit, is very good. It's very good. But I also think that it is only so good in the fight because of how good katakuri is as a combatant i don't think it's that good of a devil fruit it's good it's above it's way above average it's not going to be c tier obviously but i don't think i don't think that it's on the level of some of these other ones with that being said i'm still going to put it in a tier i'm looking at these right now and it is it's really good i'm going to put it here obviously katakuri is an s tier fighter an s tier combatant but like i said it's it's more of a credit to him being the skilled warrior that he is that it that he's so effective with it. So Mont Dor with the book fruit, it's good. You can trap people. It's it's kind of similar to Brulee's a little bit, but you can kind of trap people in the book jail or whatever. It's good. It's powerful. I think that it is once again more of a utility fruit, and I'm gonna be putting it behind Brulee here in the B tier. So that's good. Uh, B tier is obviously very stacked so far. It makes sense. Uh, I, I feel like B tier indicates that it is a good devil fruit, but it's also nothing to, you know, knock your socks off. So I know what this one is, but I don't really remember like, you know, like how it's used. I know it's like the, the, the 12 of them and they combine. So, I mean, it's whatever, right? I'm just going to put it like, like here. I mean, you know, whatever. <sighs> I hate this cream cream effer so much. He's not even a uh, not even a logia. He just chooses to cover himself in cream. I mean, get down there, you cream monster! It's it's terrible. I, I yeah, I can't justify not f. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it like like here. It's just it's just so bad. I I don't like the creamer at all. Now oven. I think oven's fruit is really underrated, because you have to think that if there is no limit to his uh 
no limit to his the temperature in which he can it's he can heat himself right so there's no limit to the temperature it has to be stronger against a single target than a kainu's because a kainu is magma and magma is you know thousands and thousands of degrees and of course he can like aoe it more he can hit more people at once but oven can heat it up to a trillion degrees and like attack with that so surely oven's fruit is not as good as a kainu's obviously but surely it's really really good i'm thinking bottom s it's I mean, it's really good. It's it's yeah yeah. It, that's where it belongs for sure. So Perospero has the mm, sorry, Perospero has the candy, and I believe it's a Paramecia. I don't think it's a Logia, and honestly, same with Katakuri. I think that Perospero is kind of slept on as a combatant, as opposed to being a amazing devil fruit i don't think perospero is as good of a combatant as katakuri obviously and i think that the fruit is pretty good i'm gonna put it in low a i think i'm gonna put it above cracker yeah 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 yeah. That, that's where it belongs so pudding has the memory fruit or the film fruit i think it's the memory memory fruit and it is a it's very much a utility fruit doesn't really have any offensive capabilities but uh, it's good uh, you can what you can actually do with it is surprisingly a lot, especially for someone like Pudding, who isn't really, you know, she's not the sharpest tool in the shed. So it's, I'm going to say like, like there, I think that's good. It, it has a lot of utility, but if you go, you know, if you're in a 1v1 against like Eustace Kid, where is he? I just saw him. Eustace Kid. I mean, there there is no hope for you. So uh, the lack of offensive capability is going to land it there. Smoothie's got the juice fruit, and I think it's really funny that Stussy was shown drinking that giraffe juice in Totland that Smoothie made, and then she gave Kaku the big suck in Egghead, but that's beside the point. So Smoothie uh, has the juice fruit, and I mean, you have to get a hold of them to juice them, right? I can't really remember how that works. I don't think it's amazing. I think it's pretty good. I'm going to put it here, I guess, in between, you know, these these Charlotte individuals can be together here. <sighs> Dalmatian. <laughs> the random Marine Vice Admiral. I think the fact that it makes you look like this is just so bad. It's It's got to go, like, like here. It, it, the fact that you have to walk around, like, and to go into battle and look like this, you're not going to intimidate anyone. So I'm going to put it in D tier. And I think I'm going to also put Dalton in D tier. I love Dalton. He's he's like such an honorable man, but he is just a bison zone. I mean, that's not that good. You can you can become a bison, right? Like you can maybe do some ramming. That's that's a good attack. I'm going to put it above Dalmatian cuz at least he looks cool with his with his uh triangles here. Okay. So we're on to Daz Bones, one of my favorite side characters in the series. And Daz Bones has the blade blade fruit and you can turn his body into blades obviously really strong obviously strong against um weak combatants very good devil fruit against people who are not as strong as capable it does have a direct upgrade at least in my opinion so i'm gonna put it in the b tier and i think i'm gonna put it high b for sure i think i'm gonna put it right behind buggy because buggy would counter him you know blades and then the chop chop so i think that's a good spot for it especially daz bones is strong obviously but i think with a stronger user like maybe like katakuri i mean this it could be insane it could really be insane i don't really know how the awakening would work could would turning other things into blades really be that useful i don't know so diamante has got the flag fruit and this one kind of confused me when I was watching it. I mean, it has some offensive capability and stuff, but the fact that he wasn't able to block that attack from Kiros makes me think that it, I mean, it, that could be a user issue, skill issue, but it's it's not good, man. It's just not good. The fact that this guy is freaking Dofi's first mate kind of kind of sickens me, honestly. We'll just put it there. It's okay. It's pretty good. 
Okay, so Doflamingo's got the, the string fruit. And even though it really is a big credit, like this is in the same vein of Katakuri, right? Where it is in the same vein of um, it being a very strong user and it's a credit to how strong the user is. I also think that it's an extremely broken fruit. The fact that one of the most baseline simple abilities is you can like puppeteer people is crazy. You can create the string clone. You can, even before you can, I don't, I don't think the birdcage was an awakening. Obviously that's more of a credit to Dopey, but baseline, this fruit is insane, especially if you have a sort of a twisted disposition. So it's S tier for sure. I think I'm going to put it there. I think that's a good spot for it. Uh, S tier is looking real strong so far. These are some really good devil fruits right here. Uh, these seven. Okay, so Rosinante is one of the best characters in the series. We all know this, but his devil fruit is maybe the worst in the series. It has absolutely no offensive capabilities, and it is, it is a very niche use as well. It allows you to kind of make like a silent space or whatever and obviously it was used in a very cute way with the law flashback but i can't justify putting it above the worst so far it has like no i can't think of very many uses for it so it's gonna go there and you lose your ability to swim which i'm i maybe i would take that trade i don't know uh we've got drawfee miss all uh miss not all sunday all sunday is much better We've got Miss Merry Christmas, and she is just one of the worst characters in this series, right? But I do, I can't put it in F tier. She's such a she's such a shitter that you really want to just put it right to the bottom. But it it's the only Devil Fruit besides maybe Senior Pink's where. So, a lot of people give Devil Fruits credit if they can fly, right? Because that's another uh, space that you can occupy. Well. Miss Merry Christmas has that too in a, in an even more unique sense with going underground. I think it's kind of underrated, I'm going to be honest. It's not fantastic. I'm going to put it in C tier and I'm going to put it I'm going to put it above the snakes, honestly. I'm going to put it right there. I think that a lot of people are just crowded by the char like clouded by the character and they're not actually thinking about the potential of an ability like that. So it's going to go there. We've got Whitebeard. Whitebeard has the Gura Gura, and it allows him to create tremors and create earthquakes and create tsunamis. It's the power to destroy the world, right? I think that it's fantastic. I think that it is one of the strongest Devil Fruits in this series, obviously. However, at least right now, until we get to the end of this list, I'm not putting it top five, you guys. It's so good, but there's some really stiff competition left to come here, and I don't think I can necessarily justify top five just yet it definitely i'm looking at all these there's a good chance i move it up but for now i'm gonna put it behind okay is it better than kizaru's yeah i th i yeah it is it really is better than kizaru's we're gonna put it there top of s tier so ivankov has the hormone fruit and i think that if this fruit existed in the real world it would it would allow uh, a lot more of a uh, there would be more, less prejudice, which I think would be really good. Um, offensive capability, pretty low. I'm gonna put it. I'm just gonna put it in B tier. It's pretty good. It it has a very you know unique and I would say good use to it. Let's put it. Let's put it pretty high in the B. I would say maybe like maybe like here. That's a good spot. Okay, so now we've gotten to the Goro Goro no Mi, the lightning devil fruit, and I think that this one, other YouTubers have said it too, but I think that this one is is just so broken. It's so broken. You can restart your heart, but besides that, the it's got to be, along with like white beards and along with uh, Akainus, when you get this devil fruit, like out of the box, you just eat it your jump in power has got to be the steepest jump, the highest difference from just existing to having this ability. It's easy top five for me. I think it's better than Kizaru's. I think it, I, I think with the right user, it's probably better than Whitebeard's too. I'm thinking about doing this, honestly, but let's do this. This is really hard. This is like really hard, this right here. 
I'm gonna keep it at this. We're gonna we're gonna come back to that. I don't remember. I won't even lie. I don't remember. Eustace Kid is has the repel fruit, the magnetism fruit, and I think that it is. It's a little like one note. I think, although maybe with a more creative user it wouldn't be. But as we saw with the awakening, and even before the awakening, with stuff like Punk Vice, it has devastating. Uh, attack power like offensive ability it's devastating i think it's a really good devil fruit i think uh, there's you know there's metal everywhere i'm gonna put it in the a tier and i'm gonna put it maybe like there i think katakuris is probably a little better in terms of like versatility and stuff so i'm gonna put it there so foxy's got the slow slow fruit and I mean, this one isn't, like, anything to, like, knock your socks off, but I don't think it's bad by any means. I mean, you could slow some some high tiers down with this fruit. It's just a C tier. It's good. Foxy's such a goober, you don't really think about it, but it's good. Let's put it, like, I, the genie is so shit, I can't justify it. I'm gonna, I don't know, I hate this guy, but whatever. So, Funk Freed, the sword, how did the sword eat it right, but whatever. The sword has the elephant zone, and... That's a good, I mean, elephant zone is a good ability. An elephant is a big, strong animal. It's one of the biggest animals to exist, right? So you would think an elephant zone would be really strong. It's going to be, it's going to be, where am I putting zones? We got two here that are good, three here that are good, two here that are not as good. I can't really justify putting it above these. I'm just going to put it here at the top of the normal zone hierarchy that I've started to build. So Galdino has the wax fruit. It's pretty good. Galdino is really stupid, so he doesn't really use it very well. But it's a generator style paramecia, and I think that it is pretty good. I'm going to put it in B tier. I just kind of haphazardly put it at the bottom, but that might actually be where I want to put it. No, it's better than some of these. I'm going to put it here. And I'm also going to swap these two. I don't know why I feel like doing that, but I'm going to do it. I think that... No, let's, let's just leave it there. That's good. All right. Gecko Moria. I hate Gecko Moria so much. One of my least favorite, maybe my least favorite character in the series. He's. He, I don't like the lazy thing. I don't. I don't like the idea that he wants to become the Pirate King by doing nothing. And I understand that it is... You know, he has a tragic past with Kaido. But he looks like a phallus. He looks like an onion phallus. I, I don't like him. But the ability is really good. I mean, he was able to control all of Filler Bark and control all the, you know, just control all the shadows and stuff. So it's good. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it in A tier at the bottom of A tier right there. I think that's a good spot for it. If my, if my judgment wasn't so crowded or cl I keep saying crowded wasn't so clouded with my hatred for Gecko Moria, it could probably ascend to like here or something, but A tier's good for it. Okay, here's a big controversial one, right? Uh Gem has the the bomb bomb fruit, Mr. Five. And I think this is one of the best examples of a bad user. You have the ability to turn any of your body parts into bombs and all you do is flick boogers at people. That's disgusting. He's a terrible devil fruit user, but I think the devil fruit is really good. Like really like way better than anybody thinks it is. I'm probably gonna put it here. It's a good fruit. It would be really strong, especially against lower tiers. Giola's got the art fruit, and it is it's good. I mean, I don't like Giola, so that's a problem. And I I, I said I wasn't gonna be biased, but whatever. It's good though, it's strong. It, it incapacitated some of the straw hats. And Brooke tricked them. So she was just an idiot. But, I mean, yeah. Like, that's fine. B tier is starting to really load up, huh? So, I, I can't remember this guy's name. But I know he's got the bomb fruit. And I feel like I feel like his fruit is just is just not as good as Mr. Five's. It's like... It's just not as good. So, I'm going to keep it in B tier. Because it's not... Hmm. No. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it here. It, it It seems less versatile than than gems so that's what we're gonna do now hina is another one of my favorite side characters she's definitely waifu material but she has the cage fruit and i think that it's honestly especially because i don't think it's c prism that she's using 
it's not a very good ability, right? I, any anyone that's strong would surely be able to get out of that with some with some hockey, right? So it's going to be C tier, I think. I can't really justify putting it in B tier with its sort of one note use, although we haven't seen that much of it. Let's see here. Let's see here. See, because I'm putting it in C tier, right? But um. Yeah, I mean, that, that's like, okay. I think that's fine. Now, Inazuna's got the... Oh, I can't remember. Is it the scissors? Is it the scissors, or is it is it something to do... Okay, I'm going to operate under the assumption that it's the scissors that is his fruit, and he can, he can cut things. Oh, yeah, because he can, like, cut through the wall, right? So, or they can cut through the wall. It's a good ability. They use it really well. Uh, nothing to write home about. I'm going to put it in B tier right, right here. Right here sounds like a good spot. Now, Fujitora's Devil Fruit has got to be one of the best Devil Fruits in the series. The ability to manipulate gravity. He's the only Admiral without Logia, right? Yeah. And... He's able to keep up. He's able to be one of the strongest admirals, in my opinion. So it's S tier for sure. And it's going to be... It's it's rising, you guys. It's rising. Where, 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 where? Right there. Right there, I think it's good. I think you could make an argument for Caesars being better. I'm going to put it right there, though. Obviously a very capable user, but a very capable fruit as well. So Jabra's got the wolf zone, and it's good. I mean, it's a carnivorous zone. It's the best zone we've seen so far, uh, unless I've put an ancient. I can't remember. Yeah, see, we've got mythical, but that doesn't count. Jabra's fruit is going to be high B tier, you guys, high B tier. And I'm going to put it, like, up here. I, I, think, I think it's pretty devastating, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. Now Jack has the mammoth zone. Also very powerful. Probably it's an ancient. It's probably more powerful than Jabra's, honestly. I'm going to put it... Like, let's do top of B. Yeah, let's just say right there. It's it's pretty broken. Obviously gives you a massive boost to strength. So Bonnie's got the Age Fruit. And it's really good. I think that it is... Maybe underrated. I don't know if underrated is the word I want to use because it's so prevalent right now. and you know, we're seeing it in use so much, but obviously really broken. It's going to be an easy A tier, if not S. I'm going to put it maybe here. How is, what am I doing with these three? How is he here? Logia? That's probably right. I don't know. Let's do... Yeah, we're just going to leave that there. It probably deserves to be up here or something, but let's just yeah, let's just do that. Now, one of my very favorite side characters that I'm so sad we do, we haven't been able to see in post time skip, Diamond Jozu. I want you to think about this. Who did the most damage to the admirals in who did more damage to the admirals in Marine Force? Marco or Jozu? It was Jozu. Jozu made Kuzan bleed. Marco, you know, danced with uh kizaru a bit more maybe but when jozu comes out of nowhere and hits kuzan that was like a, a heavy attack that wasn't like you know kuzan just dusted that off he got knocked down blown back and knocked down had to like kind of lurch to get up and he was bleeding from his mouth so the diamond fruit i believe is the exact upgrade of daz bones's fruit and i think it is an easy a tier and i think it probably belongs like here yeah i'm gonna put it there it's really good it's really 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 good and i mean you know you could cut your finger off and be a millionaire so that is what it is uh garbage just garbage right i'm gonna even put it below this one because I, I mean just look at this face so shitty bug zone i don't even care about it at all okay so kaido has the dragon and it was like a fish and then it became a dragon i think that it's amazing it's obviously amazing but once again, I think it's a credit to how good Kaido is. Like it's a it's an A or S tier fruit, but 
it's only it only becomes that next level because it because Kaido has it. So let's see here. I mean, it's raw offensive is is really really high. So it's got to be S. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I think that some of these, like you, you might not think I should put Dofies or Devons or Caesars, like these three over Kaidos, but I think these three have like a lot more utility and a lot more. They're a lot less one note than Kaido's big dragon Boro breath, right? So, it's S tier. It's amazing. It turns you into a powerhouse. So we're gonna put it there. Oh Kaku, oh Kaku, why'd you have to eat the fruit, right? Uh. Jabra told you not to. Luchi wanted you to. Why'd you eat the fruit? You become a giraffe. You're such a skilled warrior, but you're a giraffe. And it's it's bad. It's a really bad zone. I think it it's probably like like here. It Kaku uses it well, but I don't think that it really gives you very much. And I think that it just made your neck much more vulnerable to Stussy and the big bite. Okay, so now we've got Khalifa. Uh, Khalifa's got the soap fruit, and she ate it alongside Kaku. And I think this fruit's really bad. I think that it doesn't really have very much offensive capabilities at all. And I'm just going to put it in D tier, because it sucks. It really sucks. I'm going to put it, put it like here, behind Kaku. They can be together, these two um, disappointments. conjuro has got the art fruit. He can make his drawings come to life. And I think that... I mean, maybe Conjuro is just a bad user, but this one seems really underwhelming. I'll put it in C tier. I'll put it like here, above these clones and below the sisters. <laughs> so now we've got the jacket fruit, Kelly Funk's jacket fruit. And a wise man once said, it's all fun and games until Shanks wears Kaido. But besides that, it's the worst fruit in the series. So we'll put it there. Uh, Kinyamon has the the art fruit and I, it's it's cool you know i don't think it's amazing i don't even really think it's that good but it's cool i mean you can you can make your drawings come to life so that's pretty sick it's kind of like jola's I, I don't really understand it how it works that much but we'll put it there king has the pteranodon mythical zone or ancient zone and i think that the fact and once again this could be a credit to king but i think that this this fruit is both utility and power incarnate i gotta put it in s tier you guys i really do i think i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it here i'm gonna put it next to his main man kaido there so toki's got the uh time fruit that you can time travel forward and obviously one of the most broken one of the most broken abilities but the fact that you can't travel back in time is a big nerf uh i mean it's like, it's so weird. It's such a weird one. It's really hard to rank, honestly. Let's just put it like here. I think I'd rather be a mammoth than be able to go forward in time. So we'll put it there. Now, Orochi's obviously a terrible user, but he does have the, the it's a serpent or Chinese dragon or something, some sort of mythical zone. And it's going to obviously be really powerful in mythical zone. So we're going to put it in A, a mythical zone of this type. We'll put it here. We'll put it right here, you guys. Uh, I could be, it, it could be up here if I wasn't so clouded by Orochi, but we'll put it there. Okay, so controversial. I think that Kuzan's is one of the best double fruits in the series. I think that it is better than Kizaru's. I think that the, in a fight between Kuzan and Kizaru, Kuzan is not going to let Kizaru get close, right? I think that is that's just the bottom line i think it's one of the best i'm gonna look i'm gonna do a scan real quick do a little scan i don't know if it's top five it's it's here it's here i think maybe here honestly here the fact that he was able to freeze the ocean uh for those uh refugees to get to the to get to Pucci or whatever the the island uh before water seven i think that this is a really good placement i think that the devastation that he can cause with this is is better than these but i could be wrong let me know in the comments uh the dog gun is really funny 
I think it's hilarious, but it's garbage, obviously. It's a gun zone. Or is it a dog zone? It's a dog zone. I mean, we'll just put it with the homie Dalmatian here. Leo's got a cool devil fruit. You know, the snip snip fruit? He can, he can sew things perfectly and make them seamless. So uh, I'm going to put his in B tier. I honestly think it has like a ridiculous amount of utility. So we'll put it in low B. Maybe like here. Maybe like here. I, I can't really remember if Inazuna's is similar. But we'll we'll put it there. So Mach Vice, I think his name is, he's got the one where you can, you know, grow yourself to a million tons or whatever. It's cool. I mean it's it's not terrible. I'll put it in C tier, you know. I'll put it like maybe above Hina's. It's a good spot for it. Uh Man Sherry's got the healing fruit, but it it hurts you. Is if I remember correctly. So healing ability is amazing, obviously. Yeah, maybe like bottom B tier. You, you can heal people with it, so that's cool. I, I might be wrong about that one, but I know it's something like that. Now, Miss Valentine is a cutie, but her devil fruit is just worse than Mach Vice, so it's going to go in D tier. I'm going to put it maybe, maybe there. Break up the, the CP9 members. I can't remember what this. I can't remember if it's if it's this thing. It's probably just F tier, but I can't remember what the spe specifics are for that one. So all the beasts of Impel Down. I mean, they make you strong, right? But they also it seemed to have turned whoever ate these, or I don't really know how it happened originally. But they turned into mindless, disgusting creatures. So sure, you're strong, but you're also a mindless, disgusting creature. I'm gonna put them in D tier. Uh. Honestly, the bottom. Mm. We'll do like, just for the raw power of it, right? We'll do like this. Maybe put Minotauro. We'll put Rhino like here and put the zebra at the bottom. I don't know. Something like that. Now, Monet has the snow uh, Logia, and it is a direct downgrade from Kuzan's. It's still A tier, though. I mean, it's a snow Logia. It's going to be better than Caribou's, in my opinion. Just put it right there in front of Carabao. That's a good spot. I know I keep saying the name differently. I'm sorry about that. And we get to the boy. The one we know. The one we all love. Monkey D. Luffy. With the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika. And this was obviously the biggest reveal in the series. We always thought it was Gomu Gomu. Yo ho ho. He took a bite of gum gum. But it's, I mean, it's the best double fruit in the series, right? Like, when it's awakened. Which is, it is awakened. So you no fruit breaks reality like this one you can jump rope with a dragon you can wear your hair like goggles i know that's not a powerful thing but you know what else can you do you can grow to the size of an island you can it just seems like it's the best one now is it better than kuma's i don't know i'm i'm gonna say yes right now i really am gonna say it's better it's i mean we saw all the stuff with the gears, but that was all just the appetizer. I mean, the awakening with the Toon Force, that's that's the real meal, you know? Um, Big News Morgans is a rival for Kelly Funk for the worst Devil Fruit in the series. He is a bird that cannot fly. So, <clears throat> and the fact that he uses a gun makes me think that the fruit gives him no offensive capability at all. I'm going to put it like here. It's really bad. Morley has the ability to kind of uh, manipulate the ground and it's, you know, it's like earth bending and avatar. It's really good. You know, it's, it was able to create 5.5 and impel down. And I think that it is going to be a, an A tier. I'm going to put it like, like here, like, like here. That's, that's a good spot for it. I think also I'm going to move Jack up. I mean, we can't be disrespect. I mean, Jack is the King of L, but we can't disrespect the mammoth like that. Robin has the Hana Hana no Mi, which allows you to sprout body parts wherever, and I'm not even going to get into the potential specifics of that, but I, what I will say is it's a very strong ability, very utility-focused. It's going to be A tier. I'm going to put it, and just because of how like useful it would be in everyday life, I'm going to put it pretty high. Put it like... Honestly? Honestly, you guys? Honestly? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put it right there. It's so good. It's so useful, right? 
So this guy, I can't remember his name, but he has like a spider zone because he has like all the arms with the swords. Is he like Monogumo or something? I mean, it looks cool. He looks like he's probably pretty capable. It looks like a capable fruit. Uh, we'll put it in B tier, you know, just, uh, no, I can't really put it above the sisters, can I? These sisters? We'll put it just, mm, mm, we'll put it just above Drawfee, just above the, uh, there, that, that's feeling right to me. We've got page one. Now, page one's a cute boy, but his, his zone's okay, you know, it's pretty powerful. B tier. I don't think it's as good as Jabra's. Well, maybe it is. Put it just above Jabra's. Uh, Pecoms has the turtle, and although he was able to block bullets, it doesn't really seem like it's very offensive at all, so I'm honestly going to put it in low D. Maybe like maybe like to here. That's good. Now, Pell is a Valken, and the fact that he was able to get away from that explosion is obviously plot armor, but that's still a feat for him. You know what I mean? So it's still a feat for the Falcon fruit. So I'm going to put it in a B tier. I'm going to put it above the sisters and Drophy. And I'm going to put it. Hmm. I'm going to put it like, like, like here. That seems right. That seems right. Perona has the instant win ability for anybody who uh, has hope in their heart. And I think that it is a really underrated ability. And the fact that she was matched up with someone who was so depressed, like Usopp, uh, it's A tier. It really is a, an instant win a lot of the time. So it's going to be A tier. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it like here, like, like here, like, no, like, like here. It is very capable and honestly has a pretty capable user too, even though she's kind of an airhead. So this is the, it's a Pegasus, right? No, that's, that's stronger on Blackbeard's crew. It's, it's something. It's like a duck zone or something. I don't know. And eh, whatever. D tier. Like, 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 like here. That's fine. Uh, Ace has the Mara Mara no Mi, the Flame Flame Fruit. And although it is a direct downgrade of Akainu's, I think that it is a, a beast of a devil fruit. We're gonna put it above Monet, obviously, and I'm gonna put it, put it like, like right here. I think, honestly, it's definitely better than invisibility, so we'll put it right there. I'm honestly, I'm gonna do this too. I'm gonna to do this because, like, come on, you guys, the Hana Hana no Mi is pretty good, mostly utility, but it's pretty. I would really want that fruit, so we'll leave it there. Queen has the dinosaur uh ancient zone it's strong you know he can't fly though like king it's not as good as kings but in terms of just like raw damage output it it you know it serves you really well uh here yeah or or here maybe we'll do that rob lucci ca cat carnivorous zone pretty much the counter to jabra's we put where do we put Jabra? we put Jabra high b uh, we've seen Lucci awaken it, and it was a little underwhelming, honestly. So I'm going to put it in B tier. I'm going to put it maybe maybe just right next to Jabra, you know? They can they can hang out there. They love each other so much. So Sakazuki, Akainu, obviously one of the most capable users, but I also think that his Devil Fruit uh, only may be matching with Enel. When you get that Devil Fruit, you become just a destructive natural force like no other. And I think that it's in the top five. I think it really is. I think it's still maybe not as good as Enel. I think Enel's probably has some more um, utility to it. But I do think that Sakazuki just instantly turns you into like someone that nobody wants to fight. So uh, it's up there in the top five. We've got four or five here. And I think that the last one is, uh, yeah, still to come. So that's cool that I'm planning on putting. Apu's got that mad, uh, the musical jive, and it's it's shit, you know? I mean, he is very equipped to use it, obviously, but it's not a good devil fruit by any means. It's going to be D tier. I think I think even the giraffe is better. We'll put it right there. Sengoku has the Buddha. The it, it's, all, it's similar to Luffy's, you know, Hito Hito no Mi, and turns you into a giant golden Buddha. You can make shockwaves. Uh, it's going to be an S tier, for sure. I... Mm, S or A? Is, is Ace's S? 
Yeah, okay. I think these two are both S. So we're going to put the Buddha right, maybe right here. And we're going to put aces like right here. No, the Logia is just, is it's it's so much more um, versatile than, than these zones, in my opinion. We'll put it there. And we're also going to put Betty's there. We'll do that. Honestly, honestly, you guys, because it has to work on other people, I'm demoting Betty. I'm putting her top of A. Yeah, that, 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 that seems right. Senior Pink can swim in the ground. And although Senior Pink is probably like top five favorite characters, that fruit is garbage. I mean, it does have the same sort of, I mentioned that dimensional property that uh, Miss Merry Christmas has wherever I put her right here. So I can't really put it any lower than that, but I'm going to put it just above the shitty genie. That's fine. I don't remember this guy. I really don't. I can't remember if he's a member of Doflamingo's crew or if he's a Marine. So that's what he gets. Shinobu can like age things and like rot things or whatever. It's, I mean, that's good. I'm not going to say that's bad by any means. We'll put it like there. That, that's pretty good. And she becomes hot at the end. So that's cool. Uh, I forget this guy's name, but he's got the rust power and he rusted the Yubashiri of Zoro's. So he was obviously a threat then at any's lobby. Um, very capable fruit, you know, it's, it's good against swordsmen. It's a little niche though. I'll put it. I mean, it's obviously going to be a hard counter to, to kid who I have really high here in a tier. We'll put it in B tier though. We'll put it like low B, maybe like there. That's a good spot. So this is actually the worst devil fruit because it is an axolotl and you kind of need to be in water to be an axolotl. Quick, quick, quick moves there. I think that's actually the worst one of the whole list. So we'll do that. Smoker's got the smoke devil fruit. Makes sense with his name. Uh, and it's it's good. You know, it's a Lokia. It's not like an offensive element or anything, uh, but it's good. It is a very capable devil fruit. Do I think it's better than Monet's? Do I think it's better than Caribou's? I'm going to say it's, yeah. Well, we'll put it right there, you know. I, these three uh, kind of occupy the same space in my mind. So we'll put it there. Getting close to the end here now. We've got Stroysen. And I think Stroysen's is very good. It's obviously not offensive at all. But you can turn anything into delic delicious food. So the utility is off the charts. I'm going to say A tier, honestly. And I'm going to put it. Put it like it's good you know it's good i'm gonna put it right there it's it's not offensive but the utility is maybe the best so so sugar's hobby hobby fruit uh i think that's what it's called it allows you to turn people into toys and when you turn people into toys you can make people make other people forget their memories about this person and all this it's like a really twisted demented fruit but i recall that it was mentioned in wano that a certain level of hockey negates this. Doesn't mean it's not an S tier fruit, but I think that that hockey barrier, like, I don't think you could defeat Kaido with this. I don't. I don't think you could defeat, eh, defeat Kaido. I don't think you could defeat Shanks with it. So it's going to be an S tier because it works against like 90% of the people. A really high S tier too. Let's do like that. I think that's really good. These are, oh, these, sorry, these are um, much more versatile. But this is, you know, a one-shot win for at least 90% of the characters on this list and beyond. Tamas is really good. You know, you can control the animals. Uh, a tier. Definitely A tier. Uh, not a very capable user, clearly, little girl. But it's an A tier fruit. Uh, we're going to do... It's pretty good, you know. It's, it's not bad. I'll say there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chopper has a human human fruit. It's not good. It's obviously regarded as one of the worst, and I can agree. You know, if you eat it, you just lose your ability to swim. So, like that. That's fine. And we come to our last top five, in my opinion. Law's ability is seemingly limitless in power. It, we'll just do that for now. It allows you to create the room at the very basic level and sort of manipulate anyone. I think it's more of an instant win against 90% of people than uh, than Sugars because you don't even have to touch them to do the instant winning. So it's an easy candidate for top five. Where do I think it is in top five? Because these two are just like destruction monsters. 
these two are much more utility focused, and then this one just breaks reality. So this has Luffy's has to stay at one. Do I think that? Do I value what Laws brings to the table more than these two? I'm not sure I do. Maybe here. I think Enel's has the fact that Enel's has utility as well to a certain extent. Yeah, this this is what I like to see right here. Treble, snot, snot fruit. It's a paramecia. He's disgusting. I don't like treble. The fruit's okay. You know, it's like on the same tier as Galdino, Mister Three, which I put. Where did I put him? Where did I put him? B tier. We'll say it's just behind, or just behind puddings. Honestly, puddings is is not bad. We'll we'll do that. A rouge. We don't really know about it, but it allows you to like take more damage or the more damage you take the better you do the more uh better output so i'm gonna put a rouge in like i mean that's that's like a good ability right like you can't really go wrong with that ability put him like maybe above like galdino yeah i mean that's cool that's 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 calm Vanderdecken's got the one where if you touch him, you can throw objects at him from around the world. And it's not great, but it's also not terrible, you know? I mean, I would put it, like, I'd put it, like, like, there. It, it, I'd say it's better than this guy's, like, bomb thing that he can do. Very good's ball fruit, garbage. Just buggies, but worse, and you have to be balls. It's just not good. Put it, like, put it, like, like, here. Viola's ability is, like, so complicated. I still don't really understand it. You know, you can do the crying whales, and then you can also, like, see pe into people's minds and stuff. Didn't really understand it when I was watching Dress Rosa, but it's really good. It, it's very um, multifaceted. We'll put it high B tier. Maybe there. I like that. Is it A tier? No. No, it's not. Wapple. Wapple is F, you know. It's, like, pretty low, too. Like, probably, like, here or here. Because the main reason is it's like okay because of the ability, but you can't. You're always hungry. That's the downside. You're literally always hungry. So that's like that's hell on earth. That that's probably worse than losing your ability to swim. So it's gonna go there. X Drake's got the Dino Ancient Zone. He's powerful. He's cool. He is able to dish out some real damage. So I'm gonna put him alongside his Dino brother, Page One, probably below page one even though i do think he's maybe a bit more capable as a fighter marco has one of the best devil fruits in the series i would say the most versatile fruit in the series maybe alongside someone like kuma or robin i'm gonna put it in s tier easily and i'm also gonna put it very highly in s tier i'm thinking the healing properties and stuff it's not as good offensively but the fact you can fly the healing properties all of that it's going to go like like here. Maybe here. No, Caesars is slept on. It has to be below Caesars, but I'm going to put it there for sure. It's it's one of the best. It's probably the one that I would want, honestly. Maybe Robin's as well, but Marco's fruit is, is awesome. Man, we've got some <laughs> – the last four are pretty good. Wolty's got the another dino fruit, and it's good. You know, it's, I'd say it's right up there with page one. Which one do I think is the best? I don't know. Let's just put Wolty there. Well, put her with page one. So, I think Big Moms is kind of overrated, you know. Because you have, it, it's in a similar vein to, I mean, you can create the homies and stuff, but in a similar vein to, um, who am I thinking of? Boas. In a similar vein to Boas, where you have to be in love with Boa, you have to be scared of Big Mom for the primary attack to work. So, you know, what if this guy right here, I can't even remember this bug fuck's name right here, but what if he gets the ability? It would work against no one. So a lot of people say Big Moms is like S tier. I don't think so at all, you know. I think that the creation of the homies gives it a big boost. Is it B or A? It's going to be low A if it's A. This is probably really controversial to you guys, so please let me know if you think it is. I'm going to say... I'm going to say top of B, you know. I mean, it's it's demented and stuff, but you have to be scared of them. And, I'll, you know, some of these characters wouldn't scare me. Miss Valentine wouldn't scare me, you know. So that is what it is. Blackbeard, 
is this is going to be really hard because I think he should probably go up here too. It's going to be like here, I think. Uh, the Yami Yami no Mi is the darkness fruit, and it is the Logia with the special sort of parameters attached to it where you take more damage and all this. But it negates Devil Fruits. It negates everyone else on this list pretty much. So, do I do this? Do I do this, you guys? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I definitely do do this because, yeah. I think it speaks for itself, right? We're, we're going to say this for sure. Honestly, honestly, I might do, I might do this. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think mm, the utility of this one, I think outweighs the utility of this one. Even though I think we're seeing in their fight, these two's fight currently, that this one might be a little bit more effective. And lastly, we've got Magellan. Poison. Fruit. Stupidly overpowered pre-time skip. I think he, he might not be able to hang with the characters now, but he one-shot at all of Blackbeard's crew. Luffy stood no chance against him. It's, it's very similar to... Okay, so it's kind of like... Where did I put them? I keep losing them. It's kind of like Galdino right here. Galdino and Treble's fruit, but it is an offensive element as opposed to just like snot or wax, right? So I'm going to put it in A tier. Oh, no, it's not above Big Moms, though. We got to move Big Moms up to A tier, you guys. I'm sorry I said that. I agree that big, I still think that Big Moms is not as good as that people say, but it's it's A tier. Let's not kid ourselves. We're going to put it here, and we're going to move Big Moms to here. Here. Yeah. Mm, he, here. Yep. That, that, that's Big Mom's final placement. It's good. You know, I, I was sleeping on it a little bit there, so I don't think it's S tier, though, you guys. I think these are better. And that's it. That's the list. Let's uh, let's get a look at it here. Let me know what you think. Uh, I have to really zoom out. Huh? It's a big list. Can I get them all in this? Yeah. So let's see if we want to do any rearranging here. Some people may say, you know, why Ace over Kaido? I think that Logios are still slept on. I know the whole line about, you know, overconfident Logios don't last long in the new world, but and Ace was certainly overconfident and didn't last long at Marine Ford, but it's a strong ability, guys. Come on. I like this top five. I think this top five is I'm speaking the truth here with this top five in terms of the devil fruits. And we've got we've we've got, you know Oh, it's insane that it's like admirals right here. You see what I mean? Uh I'd probably put Green Bull like like down here, maybe in between these two or like in between no, probably in between these two. I would put Stussy. I'd put Stussy like maybe high A, maybe like here. I would put, who else do we know about now? Uh, Burgess Strength Fruit might be S. Augur's as, uh, Teleport's definitely S. But yeah, that's the list, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to keep making these videos, and I hope that you enjoy. And please let me know in the comments if any of this is offensive to you. Thanks for watching.